right. <clears throat> this one got a 11:10 start time. Um, on the Babylon has fallen, so we're gonna get into a few topics here. So I'm gonna start off with my invites. I ain't done a video in a minute. <clears throat> um, I was hoping I didn't have to do no more anytime soon. But circumstances is getting ridiculous because people doing the dumbest shit in the world and then they wonder why they're suffering. So we're going to go over current events vaguely without using specific terminologies that would censor uh, the content. So if you know your language, when I say crown and you gonna know what I'm talking about. And <clears throat> this is more than what you think it is, but it's not as bad as you think it is, right? So there are a lot of things taking place at the same time. And the average Joe, the regular people, don't have time to hit the books and study for 25, 30 years and the ones that don't have the time to attend to um, investigating the events of um, the nation at its deepest levels, people don't have time to do that. So some of us got together a long time ago and we start picking this shit apart piece by fucking piece. Many masters over many years has knocked on this reality to put the pieces of Pandora's box back together. They said it was an unobtainable task and that the only one that was capable to do it would not participate if he see the conditions of the people. And they were pretty much right because he didn't want to participate. And that was the one that all of the gods call the god of wisdom. Not the mortals, the gods. The gods call um, Jehuti the god of wisdom. So he ain't want no parts of this because this is the dumbest shit in the world. This is totally ridiculous. Utterly ignorant. Pure, unadulterated buffoonery. This is the bug dancing and shit that we doing on our own now i told y'all when the children stop going to school that's when these motherfuckers gonna start cleaning this shit up they've been waiting on y'all to do it on your own it took y'all too long intervention divine force the will of the universe the great source of all the great mother, Tawaret, the queen of heaven and earth, Aset, Isis. It don't matter what you're going to do or what you're going to think or what you're going to say. It's not going to change the fact that Babylon fucking failed in your face. This ain't no goddamn crown, you know, matriculating through no communities. That's not what this is. Babylon fucking failed. Babylon fucking fail in your face while you sitting here taking your dumb ass to the executioner called the doctor to get the executioner's motherfucking remedy for Babylon falling on your dumb ass. Stay the fuck out of the execution chambers called hospitals and you won't be a dead motherfucker. This shit over with. Now, <clears throat> I ain't even got started yet. Because these are the dumbest smart motherfuckers i ever seen. And these conscious niggas is in the way they need to be steamrolled first. Because they the ones, the biggest obstacle to progress. Doing dumb shit. I mean, like, I, I can sit back. I'm cool. There's no reason for me to give two fucks about a motherfucker that refused to see what's in front of his face. He don't care about himself. I can't care about somebody that don't care about themselves. How does that work? We supposed to be conscious 
we supposed to be aware, we supposed to be woke, and we supposed to be alert. Now what is we doing? Dumb shit. Buying toilet paper. Ain't that much shitting on the planet. But maybe y'all buying all that toilet pa paper so y'all can wipe the bullshit off y'all face that they slinging at you and you buying that shit hook, line, and sinker. Babylon fucking fail. I'm telling y'all. Babylon is done. The papal reign of terror is over. The invaders and the imposters have been ousted. They running for cover. Get your ass out the street so they can clean this shit up without your dumb ass getting hurt. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you do what you want to do. You grown motherfucker. You know? Go on, keep sending your babies to public places so they can snatch them up on their way out this bitch. I told y'all they was going to harvest the babies. And they was going to harvest the women. And y'all still taking y'all dumb ass out here solo. And y'all going out here doing the dumbest shit in the world. I got a cough. I think that's the crown. Let me run to the doctor. <clears throat> Newsflash. If you knew your World War II era history, you would know that Joseph Mengele was equivalent to the Attorney General. And he directed all of the nefarious... Um, all of these nefarious uh, medical experimentations on humans... He, injured, he pioneered that. He took it to a whole new level under this current role, under this current reign. They don't understand the genome. They don't understand the atomic structure. They don't understand the electromagnetic frequency. They don't understand the mechanisms of the grid. How the fuck they going to tell you? They going to tell you because you're going to listen. And you're going to fall for a hook, line, and sinker. Stop letting them tell you people dying that ain't dying. People dying from the common, everyday fucking flu and walking pneumonia, and they telling you it's the crown. You fucking serious? Now, I'm sitting here and watching people in the medical field do videos telling y'all that's some bullshit pathology of the virus that is on file and recorded it doesn't work that way the virus dies at 80 degrees turn your temperature in your house to 85 and you don't have to worry about the the the, the crown up in that motherfucker the motherfucker can only live outside of a host for a few minutes Sit your ass down for a few minutes while that motherfucking heat get from 80 to 85 and god damn it, you ain't got to worry about the crown. <clears throat> I mean, some stuff is essential, some stuff ain't. But what y'all about to see next, because y'all hard-headed. See, you got to wonder, how do you make a hard head people pay attention? You keep slapping them upside their goddamn head. Now they finna start marching all these pedophiles. Oh, they don't use that term. They finna tie you marching all these pizza eating, hot dog sucking motherfuckers out in the open. They finna start telling you all the motherfuckers that sold you I didn't already started. They indicting them. Hillary Clinton, uh Bill Clinton, Pelosi, all these motherfuckers getting indicted. Y'all not even paying attention because y'all worried about this fucking crown. Running your dumb ass to the doctor talking about I need to be tested because I cough. You cough because you inhale some goddamn dust. It happens sometimes. Sometimes a person catch a cold, the rhinovirus, and they cough. It happens sometimes. Y'all motherfuckers don't wake up. Y'all gonna be looking the dumbest motherfuckers that ever shit behind two shoes. That's how y'all gonna look. They gonna laugh y'all motherfucking ass out of existence. The humor is going to be so great, it's going to make you disintegrate. That's how goddamn funny your ass going to look to them. So I'm going to do a couple more invites. <clears throat> and we're going to get this. Let me get this underway. Okay. Now, uh, let me get greetings to my peeps up in here. You know, everybody ain't a damn fool. Y'all got to remember that. Everybody is not a damn fool. And everybody that you think 
is an idiot, not an idiot. And half the motherfuckers you think is insane is the ones that's got the sanity. See, they sit here and tell you all this motherfucking bullshit. All you got to do, Google is your friend, motherfucker. If you don't like Google, get flip the bean. Or Firefox, whatever the fuck one of them you want to search. But go pull up the pathology of the crown. When you pull up the pathology of the crown, and then you look at the pathology for the common flu, the common cold, you would be like, this is no way possible that this can be global in scope because this motherfucker is some common everyday shit that just be laying around and the only motherfuckers that normally suffer from this shit is some old motherfuckers. And y'all falling for some nursing home shit in the street. Come on, man. I don't know what y'all thinking. I seen the brother, he was dead on point for one, if it's only one problem. What the fuck was you doing in the ER anyway? That's the eradication room, you dumb motherfuckers. Eradication. They got to get you to run your dumb ass down there thinking you got a crown so they can crown your ass with defeat. I don't know what y'all be doing. I don't know where y'all what y'all looking at. I'm going to tell y'all again what y'all seeing. Babylon just failed in your face. Elijah Muhammad wrote the book, The Fall of America, to tell y'all Babylon was going to fall in this generation within the next 40 to 50 years. It's in the book, The Fall of America. Elijah Muhammad, who they said was a quack, but he was right. He was the right, he, he was a quack that was right. This is what y'all not paying attention to. Motherfucker be crazy as he want to, but if he keep being right, maybe just it's a possibility you should pay that crazy motherfucker some attention. Just possibly. This shit ain't what y'all think it is. Shit over with. We didn't cash in receipts and we didn't flipped out beasts. We didn't drug these motherfuckers out in the open, pointed them out. Now they all getting rounded up and put where they need to be. Off this motherfucker, Babylon fell. This is what I'm trying to tell you, dumb motherfuckers. Babylon fell in your face. Ain't no more motherfucking Babylonian government. That motherfucking piece of stone that was hewn from the mountain that struck the feet of iron and clay and bust this bitch up in your face. But you were so busy paying attention to NBC, CBS, Fox, and CNN that you didn't even see it happening when they was telling you because they was talking over your head, behind your back, in front of your face. You didn't even know what they was talking about. So, I'm going to tell y'all again, Babylon just fell in y'all face. The beast is over. Now, y'all got two options. Y'all can enjoy the feast or suffer with the beast. It's your choice. Ain't nobody going to make you do shit. You're going to either wake up or you're going to permanently go to sleep. If you lose your mind, you're going to lose your soul. That's the only way you can lose it. Wake the fuck up. This shit over with. It's done. Fini. No mas. El Diablo. Adios. No more aquí. That motherfucker gone. The beast has failed. The harlot is flipped. The motherfucking um, dragon being drug out in the open. Hey, Y'all not seeing none of this. None of it. And they showing it to you on a daily basis. Even in mainstream media, they just tell you it means something different. They tell you we got a global pandemic. It is. It's called ignorance. We globally some ignorant motherfuckers. We don't pay attention. That's the pandemic. Ignorance. Contagion. Foolery. Fuckery to the ninth power. Dumb shit. That's what, that's what the pandemic is. Panicking over dumb shit. So, when you pay attention to what's going on, here's what you're going to see. The structure of this government was designed to never fall, but it failed. In your face. It was never supposed to be a permanent government. That's why they created what you call a bifurcated system in law. Look it up. That means it's split into two parts. 
Hey, sweetie, how you doing? So if you split it into two parts, what two parts? Some people are going to say it's the political part and the religious. Some are going to say it's the financial and the military and all y'all to be wrong. It's the known part and the unknown part of government. It's the backdoor willing and dealing that steal all your shit out in the open. See, they do it in the background and they come in front of your face and say, you don't mind, but we're going to take about 30 more percent of your wages. So now you can deal with that on your own because we legislated this law. You said I could do it. Bullshit. I ain't tell you you can lie, deceive, cutthroat, backstab me and take my shit. And then hold it in my face and say I gave it to you. I didn't tell you that. I didn't agree to that shit. You know, so as soon as we figure it out and we say enough is enough, everybody want to run around bumping their head into the wall talking about what the fuck going on. We've been telling you, all of the elders been telling all of us, including me, for many, many years. I've been hearing them tell me since I was a baby. This shit not going to last. It's over. The only reason it lasted this long, it needed that last 80 years. They needed the Garvey stretch. The 80 years. Remember, go back to your go back to your religious book, because that's the plan in your face. They wrote the plan and they gave it to you. So this is how it worked. They give you the plan and they scramble it up like eggs. Now you gotta put the egg back together. How the fuck do you put back a scrambled egg? It's too many, it's it's not probable. But it's totally not impossible. If the science is correct, the egg can return back to the form in which it first was. Now, <clears throat> I think at this point, um, when they start shutting down next is when y'all going to pay attention. Because now gas stations are going to start closing. That's why the prices had to drop so people could have the opportunity to fill up their tanks before they close the gas stations. Why are they going to close the gas stations? That doesn't make sense. They don't want you traveling because there's going to be some shit going on on the highways and byways you really don't want to see and don't want no parts of. I'm just telling you. Some of this shit going to be done in the open because y'all think don't think fat meat greasy. It's greasy to the motherfucker. This motherfucker just sit there yesterday and told y'all I'm still draining the swamp. He crying because he didn't seen this shit. He can't unsee the shit he just seen. Donald the fucking duck can't unsee that shit he just seen. He can't unsee it. He saw it now. Now he got to live with that. He got to cry about that shit in private because he can't let y'all motherfuckers see him crying. He can't, let, he, he can't show y'all his personal trauma of seeing this shit that these Marines is pulling out of these holes. Skit baby still alive with no skin because they just snatched it off of them to boost their adrenaline. Y'all not paying attention. They seeing this. They seeing chimeras, half human and half animal hybrids that these Dr. Moreau ass motherfuckers made. He's seeing it. He fucked up. He, he might have a heart attack any day. This shit is heavy on the heart. It's heavy on the heart to see what these people doing. Y'all figure, he's just a nigga sitting on his front porch. He don't know shit. Well, I might not know nothing, but everything I told y'all was about to happen, happened. Everything. Now y'all about to find out some real shit. Y'all finna get what they call tough love next. They gonna clubber your ass upside your head to keep your ass out the way from nigga cleaning this shit up. Cause y'all wanna play in the streets while they racing cars. Y'all wanna play in the streets while they racing cars. And you blindfolded. So you wanna play in the street blindfolded while they racing cars on that very street. Get out the way. Babylon fell in your face. Now, I'm going to string this shit together. The Babylonian government became the Roman government. The Roman government morphed into what they call papal government, ruled by the Pope. The Pope hold the seat of the Isis, the Black Madonna. 
He don't have the right to that seat. He's an imposter with a parasite in his brain. The parasite has mitochondrial. It's a female. But it can only infect the male host of the human. The, f the male of their species look like Kim Kardashian, but they the queens of the damn when you fuck with one. So the papal government gave way to the crown in England by proxy. That means they used the crown as a cat's paw. That means they put somebody else's hand in the fire so they don't get burned. Right? Now, I'm going through this as slow as possible. But this is still the Babylonian government under different names. Now, go back to Daniel and you remember that he told you about all of the Babylonian governments. The head of steel and the chest of brass and all that bullshit to the feet of iron and clay. So the Moors tell you that man is truth and falsehood strangely mixed. What the fuck is he talking about? What's true and what's false in man? The illusion is that this jumpsuit you call a body is you. Because you believe that the jumpsuit is you, you can't control it. It's going to die because you won't control it. It can only control itself for a specific period of time. If you don't take the steering wheel, it crashes because the autopilot ran out. You know it has to give you warnings because all the lights got to come on on the dash before it crashes. So you get diabetes. You get hypertension, high blood pressure. You get a congested liver and you think that it's all kind of other shit going on. So the first order of business is to clean your filters. But we're going to get back to this Babylon shit because Babylon just fell in your face. So the Babylonian government that gave way to the crown in England end up coming over here setting up camp on our shit because we was already here. Me. Us. Look like this. They say, well, your DNA says African. They the same motherfucker. Zulu. Kiswa Zulu. The land of the heavens. The holy land. You dumb motherfuckers don't know your history. You don't know your history, but then when somebody try to tell you, you so caught up in dogmatic pursuit that you don't want to hear the truth. You become addicted to being lied to. It's a crapshoot. The shit is over. Babylon fell in your face. We kicked the legs from under the goddamn statue. We knocked the feet of iron and clay to goddamn pieces in your face. You still watching this bitch fall in slow motion and you still gonna get hit in the head with it because you won't move your dumb ass out the way. This shit over. It's over. The reign of terror is over until you dumb motherfuckers go in and engage your motherfucking uh, allies you sent in so you didn't have to be the motherfucker to see some shit you can't unsee. To experience some terror that you can't erase. Worse than what you've seen to date. But you can go get into that if you want to. You can run your ass out there. Stealing people grocery bags. And going to the ER. The eradication center. <coughs> you can do all that. I'm staying my ass at home. <clears throat> the only thing I, I regret right now is I can't get my son. That's it. The rest of this shit. It's over. Done. Babylon is over. Now, these groups got uh, been telling y'all, they've been dropping some jewels. Some of them surprised me. Started off on some bullshit that they bumped straight. Babylon is over. Wake up, people. Wake the fuck up. This shit over with. This hotline you niggas better find your man i got mine from hustling to busting them rhymes nigga wake up all of this shit was done out in the open in plain sight and y'all was so busy watching keeping up with the kardashians uh housewives of atlanta reverends td jakes and Crep, clep your dollar ass motherfuckers. Y'all so busy watching that shit, you not paying attention, matching the book with the events of life. 
So now you look like a goddamn fool thinking you caught the crown and you go down there and get death put in your arms with these microchips and shit. If your dumb ass go get microchip, they need to microchip you because you cattle. What's going on, Top Maker? So sooner or later, all right, sweetie. I'll check it out. So sooner or later, y'all gonna stop uh, thinking this is a joke. I mean, y'all supposed to be dancing and rejoicing, but y'all ain't supposed to be boo-hooing and you hooing. These motherfuckers is taking the sorrow and misery of you d dumb motherfuckers who go down there to the ER and get eradicated. Now your people is in a low vibrational state to be captured by the beast. You just help these motherfuckers take one more motherfucker with them when you left with your dumb ass. They already telling you Babylon failed. They rounding up these demon crats, these asses at every fucking turn. They collecting them like goddamn poker chips. Biggest motherfucking indictment in the history of the world encompasses the globe, Leviathan motherfucker, in your face. But you ain't paying attention. Slowly suffocate these motherfuckers until they can't move. They suffocate it. Every one of them motherfuckers, underground hives have been identified. Every one of these motherfucking breeding facilities for the parasite, where they were switching babies at birth, has been identified. You think a woman don't know this ain't the motherfucker that I carry for nine months? Where this motherfucker come from? They try to trick her. Take the baby out the motherfucking ER into the nursery and then she come back with another baby while she's trying to pair bond with this child. She can't. It ain't her fucking seed. It's the demon seed. And y'all not paying attention. It's been going on the cleanup been going on in your face. The dirt been going down in your face. But y'all y'all still following the same dumb shit. Don't take your dumb ass in no hospital. Social distancing is for a reason. Some of these motherfuckers got shit on them that the vibration of the earth is going to make jump out their ass. You don't want to be by them. You think that Spawn that Spider-Man shit is haphazard. They trying to tell you something. They trying to tell you that the motherfucker that you be seeing on a daily basis might not be a human. You about to find out the hard way because you trying to take your dumb ass to work. I don't know what for. You finna be the richest you ever been. Take your ass home. Don't go to no fucking dumb ass jobs. Stop... You can't send your kids to school because y'all wouldn't listen to that one, so they just stop that shit. Stop going to these beaches and parks because them water's going to be full of blood and y'all going to be fucked up. You ain't going to be able to unsee that shit. You won't be able to unsee it. Mm -hmm. So, people send me a video, Alexa. If y'all don't know how Lexa is programmed, Lexa reads all file government documents through what they call um, the uh, Library of Congress Public Information Access Link. Using the Freedom of Information Act, if it's not classified information, it's accessible. And by asking Lexa the question, she used what you call a, a series of pings to run through their whole database and extract information. She can be misled because she have been because this shit has been around since the beginning of man. It's, it's just as common as dust. It only affects people with little to no immune system, normally newborns and elderly. That's why it's on the back of the fucking Lysol bottle. Look it up. Stop falling for the games. Babylon failed. That's what you're looking at. You're not looking at nothing else. 
Babylon fell, the fall of fucking America, the feet of iron and clay been crushed in your face. There won't be no fucking election, period. I don't know why y'all keep worrying about that shit. Whoever fuck gonna run, they gonna be running the fuck from over here because this shit is over with. Babylon failed. So Babylon the Great is now Babylon the Late. Past tense, historically, it's over. The time frame was up July the 4th, 2019, but y'all was too sleep in order to get your shit. Y'all was too sleep in order to get your shit. Look, the people were so fucking ignorant, and they so sleep. When I realized the depth of the ignorance and the slumber, my feelings got hurt. That hurt my feet. I felt like somebody literally did something to me. Now I'm sitting here looking like, God damn, my homeboy getting his ass whooped in a one-on-one. -on -one. I can't even jump in. All he got to do is duck because the motherfucker only throwing one punch. Hidden in plain sight. So, <clears throat> I mean, if you really, 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 really paying attention, you won't be deceived. You got to look within to see out. Don't look out to see within because it don't work that way. This is what the Luciferian flip on the eye chart is about. If you look up how you see, your vision is upside down and turned around. That's what they use your blind spot in order to oppress you. Your blind spot. Stop being blind. You got motherfuckers that can't see with the naked eye can see clearer than all us put together. It's perception. You need a foundation. Where's the foundation? Yourself, your God self, your divinity within. Some people don't got that shit. They got an ego, so they become ego woke. <clears throat> the ego is just a calculator. That's all. Probability calculator. You know? So, it say in the book, surely my children should suffer from lack of knowledge. It should have been a little bit more extreme than that. It should have said... Surely these motherfucking dumbass motherfuckers head gonna be stuck so far up the oppressor ass that they are not gonna care to think anything that doesn't come out the oppressor's fart. This shit over with. Babylon done. Wrapped. Finite. Now you can take this, you can tell your homeboy, tell him I'm crazy. Listen to this crazy motherfuckers. But some of us that's from the spirit of the earth spirit gonna hear it and know what the fuck I'm talking about. And they gonna look at you like you done lost your goddamn mind. It's over. Babylon fell in your face. Now all we have to do is restructure. That's what's being done right now. It's called restructure. Any government that fail, they have to be restructured before they go back to regular operations and it won't be the same as it was before. Because nobody ain't gonna be getting robbed this time around. People gonna get to live according to they effort, they best fucking life. I mean, y'all can sit here and think this shit is real. It's only as real as you make it. It's a three-dimensional lock. Don't fall for it. Don't get your mind locked in the 3D. The shit over with. Babylon fail. It's a wrap. The fall of America, Elijah Muhammad. Theology of time systematically tells you. 24,000 year cycle. The great rulings of the Amenti, the unknown land. Wake up. That's all you got to do. Back the fuck up. Let these motherfuckers drag these pedophiles, slave traders, and motherfucking thieves, robbers, and rapists out of their holes. Don't get in their fucking way. Don't let these motherfuckers trick you into running your dumb ass in the street. Right? You're going to run your dumb ass in the street talking about, oh, I'm going to fight this martial law shit. No, they protecting your dumb ass. It's over. Babylon fell in your face. I can't tell you no clearer than that. Oral statements and prophecies of Noble Drew Ali. Look them up. He told you the conditions that was going to take place when the apparatus returned. They all written in there. I showed the clouds clash when the night Turner said that the shit was going to set off when the black cloud consumed the white cloud. Look at my motherfucking shit. I showed it in real time. 
I showed y'all when God when when Hurricane Marcus smashed into Australia in 2018. I showed it to you because he said, "Look for me in a cyclone." He came in a cyclone with the thousands of ancestors, just like he said. Now these motherfuckers running for cover, but they ain't nowhere to hide. Ain't nowhere to hide. The gig is fucking up. Babylon the Great is falling. Get out these people way, let them take out the trash. Everybody that be here in the aftermath belong on this motherfucker by the spirit of the earth rights consent. And the only thing at that point is, are we going to be wise enough to throw the devil's trash of divide and conquer in the garbage? Or are we going to keep practicing that shit? Because if we is, we can just let these motherfuckers stay in charge. We can let these motherfuckers stay in charge. Wake the fuck up. Babylon over with. It's done. This baby lion has burned. The legs been kicked from under the statue. All of the great Babylonian empires that come crumbling down in this motherfucker at this time. Born on the 4th of motherfucking July. Yankee doodle doo motherfucker. This shit over. JD's motherfucking revenge. Man. When you look at the text, it seemed cryptic. And it seemed borderline fantasy material. But then you wonder, where is all these motherfuckers that could see the future and that walked on water and parted seas? And them, we need them motherfuckers now. If it told you in the book, the evil and adulterous seek a sign, but no sign shall be given. Save the sign of Jonah. Well, only Jonah the one know he got sucked up in the goddamn well. None of the people at Nineveh knew, nor did they give a fuck. So the same as Jonah, three days in the belly of the whale, even so at the coming of the Son of Man. What the fuck is they even talking about? Whales and goddamn sons of man. What's all this bullshit? It's stolen legacy is what it is. The stolen legacy shuffled around and encrypted to confuse you as to who in the fuck you are. You God. If you do God shit, but if you only want to do some mortal shit, you stuck in mortality. Mortals die. Gods are eternal. You take your pick. You keep chasing the bag and you're going to be in one. These motherfuckers is crowning kings globally. Giving a shit back globally in your face. They turning off the Lulu Amalu, the slave race that was created to carry the burden of the gods. Y'all not paying attention. You see, when people come to hold you hostage, somebody got to come get you out. And they might need an inside man, another hostage to give the directions on how the fuck to get out this shit. So you had a hostage talking to the goddamn negotiator by priding and poking the hostage keeper in a certain manner. Right? So because you make the hostage um, keeper make a certain move, the negotiator know where everybody at. Skilled. Intellect. All this shit in you, you gods. But if you don't you exercise your God self, I take that shit. You don't need it. You can give me your God force. If you ain't going to use it, right? If you're not going to even use it, stay mortal. Stay in your ego, you ego-driven motherfucker. How do you know you in your ego? Because you feel like you entitled and you the only motherfucker right. You the only motherfucker right, but you don't got no facts. Everybody with the facts is just making that shit up. They just making it up to tell you some bullshit. Like a motherfucker got time and interest enough 
to go fabricate a conspiracy theory. Why in the fuck would I don't got time. I'm not, I don't have the interest. My give a fuck meter barely even move. So why would the fuck would I go make some shit up to tell you to mislead you? I don't want no motherfucking congregation of followers. Shit, if that's the case, I'd have opened a goddamn church and been rich. I ain't into that shit. I'm in the motherfuckers living their best life with their feet up, taking trips around the world, but you got to earn your key. That's all. I, everybody need equal opportunities. But these stupid motherfuckers keep doing the same dumb sh this shit over with. Okay, look. It's a fat lady standing on the rug in the grocery store with a whole bunch of shit, and we know she gonna fall, but... Everybody waiting on her to fall. Guess what? I snatched a rug from under that fat bitch. Now she on the ground, all her groceries in the air, and y'all wondering how she fell. Babylon is done. It's over with. The rug snatched from under the fat lady. That bitch singing because she's falling. Oh, Lord, help me, please. I'm falling down the stairs. Help me, Lord. Let me catch the balance of something. It's over. Done with. And you ain't got to take none of this shit serious. Because I don't take half of the motherfuckers that's listening serious because they won't. Look, if you know what the fuck going on, you should be glad to inform somebody that you give a fuck about. But you know what you do? You keep it to yourself. You know why you keep it to yourself? Because you're scared of being ridiculed. Fear. You're scared of your own motherfucking people getting the truth. So you cover it up. You know it, but you keep that shit a secret. You ain't no better than the goddamn oppressor because that's how he kept you oppressed. He kept all that shit secret, but he kept it secret in plain sight. And the shit that he wouldn't put in plain sight, we sent soldiers in there to get that shit. Fuck these motherfuckers. It's over with. Babylon fail in your face. The government of oppression, subjugation, slavery, and motherfucking law of man is passe. It is no longer in force. Right now you are seeing the cleanup issued by galactic order, superior to the reins of the earth because it covers more ground and you get to draw allies from places that motherfuckers don't even know exist. You get to have motherfuckers come down here and aid in the struggle and you don't even know they're there until you wake up. The shit over with. Babylon fell. In your face. End game, goddamn right. They've been checkmated. They lost the galactic pool game, the galactic chess game, the galactic card game. Poker, bitch. I got all the chips. I kicked in all the goddamn doors that they let us peek in and wouldn't let us go in and take part in no discussions. Kick, fuck it. Pac told you he was going to kick the doors off the hinges. Motherfuckers sitting out here watching y'all throw food around and having parties and we out here starving. That shit ain't cool. It's over with. Babylon fell in your face. I can't say it enough. Babylon has, the great is now Babylon the late. The hearted has been exposed. The dragon drug out. The great Leviathan. The kraken has been turned to stone. All this shit over with. The papal authority has been restored to the righteous owners. Only thing we got to do is wake up so y'all can see it in the 3D. They got to move so slow so they don't shock your motherfucking ass and make you give up the ghost. Because you a goddamn coward. <laughs> I mean, like, we can get into this shit on any level. But the wisest way to fight the enemy is to fight the spiritual fight. Because if you win it in the spiritual, that shit going to manifest. It ain't going to manifest exactly when you want it, but it's going to happen. If it happened already spiritually, I told y'all months ago, I already went from dimension nine to four. Now we just got to clean up three. Months ago. And I told y'all stop sending y'all kids to school so they clean this shit up. No, y'all ain't y'all were serious. Y'all wouldn't stop sending y'all kids to school, so what the fuck shit? They did it for you. You can't motherfuckers can't hold your hand for all eternity. If you're gonna be God in God form, use God force. Wake the fuck up. The shit over. Babylon fell in your face. Now everybody tell a friend to tell two friends not to panic. 
Don't go taking your ass in the way of this pedophile cleanup. Because anybody that's fucking babies getting fucked over. Period. No exception. Anybody fucking babies getting fucked over. That's just the way it is. All of the rapists is about to get raped publicly. Not sexually raped. Iconically raped. They finna get raped to all their motherfucking secrecy. Exposed. See, rape mean to be violated. They finna be violated. They got a violation coming. Put them in the circle. Give them a 360 workout so the people can see this shit. So they can stop acting like idiots and wake the fuck up. Babylon failed. In your face. All the books balanced. Now y'all got to get out the way so they can clean this shit up. Don't be a victim trying to protect the victimizer. Throw your Stockholm Syndrome in the garbage. The motherfucker you alliance with is the motherfucker that got the same foot on their neck. They don't always look the same, talk the same, or represent the same clique, but they all got the same struggle. They fucking over all of us the same. Stop letting that divide and conquer shit keep you separated and slowing the process down. It's time for unity, coming together, tying shit together, making alliances, making commitments and dedications. That's the time. It's time for that shit. It's time for you to start mapping your life out. While you got this downtime, get you a book of life and write in that motherfucker your future. I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to do this to make a living. It's going to be a new era without this motherfucker that's been had his foot on our neck. But get out they goddamn way. Eisenhower told you. JFK told you. So it ain't one side of the fence the motherfucker's telling you. John Lennon told you. Imagine that, motherfucker. John Lennon. A fucking beetle. A dung beetle. Ask Paul. He know. Because they was Tavistock plants used to, to practice man control on your dumb ass. And they found out what they was being used for. And John didn't like it. Paul ran. So, wake the fuck up. Everybody telling you the same narrative from a different angle. And their narrative point to one thing and one thing only. Babylon failed. Ain't no more Babylon. The devil has been annihilated. He been ran the fuck up out of here. What you could tell you? Lucifer, son of the morning, I'm going to chase you out of here. That's not what he was talking about. Because y'all don't even know who the fuck Lucifer is. The Lucifer effect is the effect of waking up. They have to villainize that shit so you don't want no parts of it. To be enlightened means to be aware. If you didn't know something yesterday and you found out today, you've just been enlightened to the fact of that thing. Fear not. None of this shit can't hurt you. But you got to wake the fuck up and pay attention to your surroundings. Spatial awareness is what it's called. If you're not spatially aware, you're going to keep falling in the same trap. This shit over with. Flush Babylon down the toilet. Let's build utopia. They say it can't happen because we don't have a psychological makeup willing to accept everybody living their best life. But see, for some people, their best life is to have a good job, take care of their kids so that their kids can have a better life than they had. It's called progressive struggle. Protracted struggle. See, people don't want to be aware of that. Protracted struggle means a long, drawn-out process. Now, Farrakhan told y'all in his final call speeches that the punishment of God was a long, drawn-out process of punishment and release. Punishment. And, what is that doing? Building spiritual muscle. You ain't going to overthrow the beast if you're not strong as the beast spiritually. They follow the universal laws and they follow them to the letter until now. They made you consent by deception, but they kept it in plain sight because as long as you got an opportunity to discover the deception, they have met their burden. Now you have to do your due diligence to realize Babylon fell in your face. On his face. 
Babylon is the baby lion. London, England, what's their symbol? The lion. That's the big lion. The mama lion. Who? That bitch Elizabeth over there. She ain't the real queen. She an imposter. She sitting on somebody else's shit. A black lady. Look damn near just like her, but she just got skin in my complexion. She live over there in London. The Moors got her head. Y'all gonna see her. Y'all gonna see the black Madonna ret return to her motherfucking seat at the Papal Authority. But y'all first got to get over the fact of being traumatized at the fact that Babylon fucking fell in your fucking face. Are y'all ready to listen yet? It's over. It's time to collect. They owe us. Fuck reparations. That's like a motherfucker that owe you a million dollars give you a nickel. Reparations can't cover this shit. It ain't big enough. The bill on reparations for the so-called African Americans that was never in slavery, that never happened, that y'all failed for in order to keep y'all thinking that y'all was created as slaves. You stupid motherfuckers. Packed on a buck boat like sardines, a gas chamber in three days or less. All that pissing and shitting going on with no ventilation. They wasn't making cruise ships like they make now. Go back and look at that shit. Tell them to find you a slave ship so you can see how they was living. They can't find one. Why they can't find one? They got to be able to find one. Them motherfuckers pulling ships off the bottom of the ocean all the time. They call it deep ocean recovery programs. Look it up. Uh, treasure hunters. Look them up. They, but they ain't none of them say I found the slave ship. Not one. They done been sweeping the Atlantic for years. At least a hundred looking for fallen treasure, but ain't none of them motherfuckers pulled up nothing that they call a slave ship. And you still think you was transported over here? By the millions? Packed like sardines? Are you fucking serious? I was already here. Them the same people. That's why they told you that lie, because it'll work. It's called a workable lie. And you fell for that shit. Get up off your motherfucking hands and knees. Stand up like a goddamn soldier of God that you supposed to be. Open your eyes and look at what's going on in front of your goddamn face. Stop falling for the deception. Ain't no crown infecting nobody. Shit. They giving out the crown. They need to bring me one. I'm, I, infect me, motherfucker, with a crown. You dig? Make sure that motherfucker be jazzled out, too. I want all kind of shit in that motherfucker stones I can't even pronounce. Since y'all want to be passing out the crown, see how these motherfuckers will see what it's really about. You know? Everybody need the right to live their best life. Every parent should be teaching the child how to live better than them. I don't know everything yet, but if I pass what I know to you and you keep on be folding on, one of us gonna know everything. Cause somebody gonna be the filtered it all down. Wake up, Babylon fell in your face. The fall of America, our savior has fucking arrived. Message to the black man, message to the people, message to the grassroots. How many fucking messages do you niggas need? This shit over with. Ain't no mother, all them hospital shit they showing on social media, some fabricated bullshit. All that crowded, flooded hospitals, I just had motherfuckers go check the local hospital. And they ain't packed like they telling you dumb motherfuckers, but y'all still falling for it. Go get your hospitality at the ER where they gonna eradicate your ass. The eradication room. You gonna take your ass in there. And you ain't coming back out that motherfucker when the devil get his hands on you. Because we ain't done cleaning that shit up yet. Wait till you see the doctors and the pharmacists and the pharmaceutical producers charges for they dirt. The ones that you know, know because they put their name on the shit they told you they knew. Them motherfuckers. Now you can't hold somebody responsible that didn't know. Because you can't know what you don't know. 
But the motherfuckers that know, how do we know they know? They put their name on the shit. Address, dates, time, stamp, verified by another motherfucker who put their name on the shit. At least three motherfuckers verifying their receipts. You see? So when they lay their dirt down, they leaving a, a footprint, a paper trail. Follow the money. Get the bankers first. You know? You got to know where to hit these motherfuckers and make the domino effect take place per perfect. Hit them in the pockets and hit them in the ego. How do you hit them in the ego? You put a buffoon in front of their face and say he going to win. And they swear up and down this motherfucker can't win because he's a fucking buffoon. He a clown. And this motherfucker win. Then this motherfucker the clown tell you we're going to drain the swamp. And then start draining the swamp and they starting to run for cover. Wake up. This shit over with. The ancestors has, the ancient ones, Empress Verdiasi has returned to clean this shit up. So y'all got two options. Y'all can get out the way while I get cleaned up or you can get cleaned up with it. Them your two options. Get somewhere Get comfortable, get with your family, and stay isolated away while they dragging these motherfuckers up and down the street. They not going in that motherfucker with no police. The police is ill-equipped to handle these motherfuckers. They got full-fledged military contingents. They got underground bases with 12 and 14-foot doors that has to be cut through with incendiary um, devices and blown the fuck up causing earthquakes in diverse places if y'all don't know the book y'all in trouble all of this is going on in your face all of it going on right in your face it's over with Babylon fail in your face this the fall of America that's right Cardi B tell the motherfuckers if they gonna be paying motherfuckers to say they got the crown to pay you too up in this bitch it's over with now I'm looking through here in case somebody got any questions cause I'm about done um, ranting and raving I'm about to get off my soapbox because uh, I could do this all day long tell them Cecilia we can do this all day long the titans came back to kick ass the ancient ones return. The seven African powers are the seven powers in you. Each power is controlled by one of the seven central chakras. Bump straight, rise seven chakras, become a seven seed, and wake the fuck up. Babylon fell in your face. Babylon fell in your face and you wondering what's going on. I'm telling you, Babylon the Great is now Babylon the Late. So anybody that got two drops of sense prompt, this is the one you ought to share. I'm not going to tell y'all to share it because I don't give a fuck. I'm going to watch y'all dumb motherfuckers run down here to the ER so y'all can go in the eradication room and get eradicated. Just make sure y'all send me what y'all got for me when y'all get to the other side. They're going to show you where the boxes and all that shit at when y'all get crossed over. And they say, you dumb motherfucker went to the eradication room, didn't you? I knew your dumb ass was going to go because you, you always thought you had all the answers and you've been wrong every goddamn time. Go, go to the eradication room. Your seniors, your elders supposed to have been at the house in the first goddamn place. They ain't supposed to have been in no motherfucking nursing home. They were supposed to have been at home get, where the young girls learn how to take care of the elders. So when your ass get old, she can teach her daughters how to take care of you. But nope. You want to live like the beast. So you're going to be treated like a beast until you wake the fuck up. It's something in you so great waiting to awaken but you so busy chasing what's already done. It's over. Babylon fell in your face. The fall of America. Our Savior has arrived. God damn it.
Message to the people. Final call. Million Man March. Million Women's March. Million Family. Well, all this goddamn marching for y'all ain't tearing nothing up. You only supposed to march to war or to train for war. And none of that shit was military. March your motherfucking ass to your house while they clean this shit up. I know, Cecilia, I know you on point. See, everybody want heaven, but everybody's scared to die. But when you realize you eternal, why in the fuck would you care? You gonna either give me heaven or give me death. Patrick Henry, motherfucker. Give me freedom or give me death. What the fuck is he talking about? What is this freedom shit? Because you probably don't got it. That's right. Seven chakras, seven seals. The last one. Your crown. Infected. See, you having what they call ascension symptoms, and you take your dumb ass to the eradication room, and they realize... He wanted them waking up. Hurry up. Give him some sodium pentatol, some sodium amatol, and some PSP cock PCP cocktail so that we can sit and give him this angel killer juice. It's over. It's a new world. But it ain't going to be the world of the beast. This is going to be the world of the righteous. So, I mean, whatever y'all want to do, Y'all do whatever y'all want to do. Just know this. Babylon fell in your face. I told you it was going to fall. I told you what it was going to look like. I told you motherfuckers was going to be dropping dead when they turned the artificial ego, which is an artificial duplicate of a true soul, off. It won't be able to vibrate on fifth dimensional density because it can only reach to the third dimensional density, but... It was given access to the fourth dimension when they collapsed the two onto each other, when they opened up the portal and blew that bitch, trying to permanently entrap you in what they call an infinity loop. When the women flipped the grid, it flipped us out of the loop. We out of infinity and we are now in eternity. Infinity is limited. Eternity is limitless. So, wake up, people. Babylon fell in your face. Fall of America. Atone. Atonement. Make amends for your wrongs. Apologize it all. Clean up your dirt. Wherever your dirt at, clean that shit up. Don't leave it there. Now, some of it you can't do nothing about because the person might not even be here. But you got to come to terms with that within the self. Everybody didn't do did somebody wrong. And some of us call ourselves conscious. We ego woke. We still doing people wrong thinking we doing them right. We think we shouldn't giving them, doing them a favor by kicking them to the curb and leaving them on the curb. Sometimes they got to stay on the curb, but you got to stand on the goddamn porch and tell them how to stand up. They might be a little too drunk right now with the fucking uh, baby fumes in the air. You don't even know that the blood was used to keep you in a stupor where you can't think. It's, look it up. If you are in a state of fear, angels will flee. That means your God self will curl up behind your ego and push that motherfucker into the danger before he go. That's not my lane. I don't want no parts of that dumb shit. Hey, hey. I got them puppies. I got some puppies. Okay. I got a friend doing uh, all black, all black eyes, black toenails. What you trying to get rid of your dog for? Uh, I'll holler at you in a minute. Okay. Yep. Sacred energy lasts forever. That was a good one, Rob. So, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I got the chronic, chronic virus. Chronic. About to fire this motherfucker back up. Because the THC detaches the ego from the true self. If you focus more on the true self and its needs than the desires of the ego, you're going to make a successful jump out of the infinity loop using the THC and the CBDs as facilitators, crutches, until you learn how to walk. When you learn how to walk, you won't need nothing. But for the meantime, you need a crutch. 
Legalize that shit. Peter Tosh. You know? The mighty ganja. The man of the real and original true man. Wake up. It's over. Babylon fell in your face. You clean it up. Soldiers everywhere cleaning it up. Wrap this shit up. Alpha meets Omega. The beginning is tied to the end. Seal this shit off. Cut the umbilical cord. Let that shit float into the goddamn ocean. We done with that. We done with that. You see? Focus on your future self. What do you want to be like? What kind of person you want to be? Then you'll be able to turn this motherfucking suit off when you want to and pick up another one because you don't like the way this one look no more. It's wore out. And then you can stop being scared to die. Eternal beings ain't scared to die. Ego beings is definitely afraid of death because they got to be erased to be reused. They was erasing the soul beings too, but they have to do something when they erase them. They have to keep a record. It's called a cashier. So you can't be lied to because you already know everything. You already know everything I just told you. I'm just reminding you of what you already know. You watching it in real time. Babylon just fell in your face. You dig? So, um, I'm going to finish my morning coffee and my wake and bake and tell y'all don't panic. Just watch it play out. Click up with the family. Those stranded in the desert, go home. Some of us have crossed the desert sands. Some of us haven't made it all the way across yet. Some of us is waiting to get in the house. Yeah, fear is, that's some shit right there. Obstacle is the way. See, whenever they do something to you, whenever they poison you, they got to also give you the vaccine or make it available for you to discover it when they poison you. You got to be available for you to discover. That's how AIDS was able to be discovered. Because when they made it, they made a vaccine and they made a cure right in your face and you still didn't see it. You're welcome, Cecilia. Let these people know, don't take your ass to the eradication room because ain't no guarantee you're going to walk out of that. That's going to keep your family in a state of fear. And when your family in a state of fear, they can't jump the loop. You won't be allowed to jump the loop while you are in a state of fear because you're dangerous to yourself and others. So those who don't make it across the loop, I won't see you no more because only the ones that's supposed to be here going to make it. And only the ones that pay attention to the times and the signs and follow the instructions of the elders is going to make it out of it. Stay out of the eradication room. Quit passing fear in social media. Quit telling motherfuckers they need to be tested. A virus got a three to seven day lifespan of that nature. All you got to do, keep your liver clean and your body will function properly to get rid of it. That's not even a real pandemic worthy complaint, the crown ain't. So wake up. Each one teach one that we all might reach some and realize Babylon fell in your face. The shit that your grandparents was waiting to happen, you live in it. The shit they great grandparents told them was going to happen, you live in it. It's over. Babylon fell in your face. On Fairlane, the land, Fairmont, my bad, the mountaintop. He was hewn. Dwelled in the Strathmore, the land of the Moors. He woke the fuck up and realized who he was. I had a chain reaction. Each one teach one. Babylon fell in your face. This is what you're looking at.
It has to be cleaned up. Don't get in these people way while they cleaning that shit up. Because if you get in the way trying to protect the enemy, you're going to get treated like the enemy. You can't save the devil. His rule and his reign of terror is up. Or I said say her. Because the biggest trick of the devil wasn't to tell you that he don't exist. It was to tell you that he was a man. The same with God. So yeah, y'all looking for ma masculine genders. God is a woman and the devil is a imitation of that. Babylon fell in your face. Slam fucking dunk. 33 master raises. We flip out right here.